Welcome back, hockey fans, to the Jaeger Bombs NHL DFS Shots of the Night for Thursday, December 20th. We've got a big slate tonight. We've got 12 games going on. Let's we'll start at rotopros.com. Um, after the video, make sure to check us out in the community chat. If you're not a member yet, make sure to go over to rotopros.com, click the sign up button, and get your free two week trial to everything that we offer, including articles, cheat sheets, videos. Um, one-on-one coaching, skeleton lineups, and much, much more. Pretty sure after that two-week trial, um, you will fall into one of these uh, categories down here, monthly, daily, and yearly memberships. With that, let's get things started. So I'm going to start with my cheat sheet. I provide this every day for the Rotor Pros customers. You can find it in the community chat daily. You can find links in the articles, links in the videos. Find it on my uh, Twitter account, at Jaeger underscore bombs 9. And first up, we've got the matchups tab. So as you can see here, we've got Pittsburgh and Montreal playing back-to-back and third game in four nights. And joining them is the Islanders, Nashville, and Anaheim also playing a third game in four nights. So here's where you can find all the Vegas info for each game. As you can see, there's only two games, uh, one game tonight actually, Anaheim at Boston with a over-under, under six, sitting at five and a half there. And then we've got four games with a six and a half Got Winnipeg, San Jose, Tampa, Calgary, Minnesota, Pittsburgh, and Florida, Toronto, a six and a half over under, which is going to have another big high scoring night, so we're going to need some upside. Then we've got overall record, home and road records, um, overall defense and offense. We've got home road splits, power play, and then we've got advanced stats over here, um, courtesy of naturalstatric.com. I then go through each and every position. With stats and advanced stats, I highlight my top plays. Green are going to be core plays. Blue are going to be GPP. Yellow are going to be value plays. So you're going to see that through each and every position here. And then I also list off my top stacks, uh, the players I like, what line they're on, and then with some notes here as well with some extra players that you can add or um, you know adjust there. And then, of course, we've got our stats tabs um, where you can check out any team. I use this for season-long um, as well, making start sit decisions, waiver waiver pickups, that sort of thing. We've got advanced stats for players, goalies, and on the team level. So with that, let's jump right into the Jaeger Bombs fantasy shots of the night. First up, we'll go to the goaltender position, and I'm looking at Sergei Bobrovsky tonight. 8,200 on DK, 8,500 on FanDuel. He's a minus 185 home favorite tonight. Um, very plus matchup against the Devils, who have lost 10 of their last 12 games. Have a league worst 311 and 13 road record, and rank 21st in road offense, scoring just 2.65 goals per game. Bobrovsky's had an up and down season. He's given up four plus goals five times. But he's also held opponents to two or fewer goals in 12 of those 12 other starts this season, including a shutout against Vegas last start. He is safe in all formats. The other goalie I'm looking at tonight as my core um, is going to be Mark andre Fleury. He's 8,000 on DK, 8,800 on FanDuel. So he's a little cheaper on DK, a little more expensive on FanDuel. Probably end up splitting those per site. Probably be going Fleury on DraftKings, Bobrovsky on FanDuel. If, if I need that uh, couple hundred dollars in salary there. Uh, Flurry is a minus 195 home favorite. He hasn't been as sharp lately with an 897 save percentage, but has won seven of his last 10 starts while facing over 30 shots per game. So the upside is going to be there, um, and, and he is a much better goalie, as you can see, on home ice. He has a 10-3-1 record at home, 199 goals against, and 928 save percentage. So I like his chances of uh, um, facing lots of shots tonight. He's going to be a very safe option. A little bit tougher of a matchup against the Islanders, who have been streaking a little bit, have won three straight, but are playing a third game in four nights out west and ranked 21st in overall offense. Like I said, I'll be trusting Flurry in all formats tonight. Those are my two cash game goalies. For any other goalies um, looking at GPP formats, definitely head over to the cheat sheet once the video is over. To the center position, I've added three today uh, just because it's a big slate. So we've got John Tavares, 7,300 on DraftKings, 7,800 on FanDuel. Targeting the Leafs offense um, is where I'm going to start tonight, at least for cash games. is a monster. started at 7 over under. It's now down to 6.5. The Leafs have the number three offense overall. Panthers are number 27 on defense and have been much worse on the road, almost a half goal worse on the road. Tavares has been consistent lately with nine points and 37 shots in his last 10 games, so there's been upside, there's been floor, and he's averaging over a point per game on the season. He hits on the advanced stats with 11.2 shots per 60, 18.5 individual core super 60, which is really good when looking for a high floor. And then for upside, he's averaging 13.4 scoring chances per 60, with 8 of those coming in the high danger area. Austin Matthews is, is also an elite option tonight, but I'm leaning Tavares just slightly because of the discounted price on both sides. 
Dylan Larkin's up next for me. Talked about him last video. The price has come up a bit on DraftKings. Dropped $100 on FanDuel, so he's in that mid-6K range on both sites. Red Wings are underdogs tonight in this game, but Larkin is still a points-per-dollar play. Um, he comes in with an 8-game point streak and has 12 points over his last 10 games with a whopping 44 shots on goal. So again, he's providing a floor as well as a ton of upside as well. He's provided high floor all season with a 10.0 shots per 60 and 17.5 individual Corsi per 60. I'll be pairing him with Gustav Nyquist in cash and GPP as the two have carried the Red Wings all season. Both have 30-plus points. I believe the third place uh, player is Athanasiou. Um, he's only got 20 points. So those two alone have contributed a ton of offense for the Red Wings. Next up, looking for a value play at the center position. I like David Krejci, 5,200 on DK, 5,800 on FanDuel. Um, value option at the position. He's getting terrific opportunity centering that top line with Brad Marchand and David Pasternak while Patrice Bergeron is out of the lineup with an injury. Very solid lately with 10 points in his last 10 games with 26 shots on goal while averaging just over 18 minutes of ice time. So if you're trying to get Tavares or Matthews in your lineups going down at the center position to David Krejci makes a ton of sense. Or if you're loading up on defense, paying up for defense, maybe you want to go Larkin and Krejci in cash games, um, you can get two high-priced defensemen in there as well. Moving on to the winger position, Cam Atkinson is the first one that shows up for me tonight. Uh, 7,600 on DK, 7,200 on FanDuel. Blue Jackets are in a great spot, minus 185 home favorite and have the third highest team projection around three and a half goals tonight elite matchup versus the devils who have not only been terrible on offense on the road but they have a league worst road record and the third worst road defense uh this season allowing over four goals per game atkinson provides an elite four floor averaging 12.3 shots per 60 on the season with a 19.6 individual core super 60 also provides a ton of upside averaging over 10 scoring chances per 60 and five high danger scoring chances per 60 which has resulted in 34 points in 32 games having a career year decision is a little tougher on DraftKings. he's the second highest priced winger but on Fandle, he's close to a lock for me as the 16th priced winger tonight brendan gallagher also shows up for me if you're looking for value at the winger position 5300 on dk 6000 on Fanduel. Um, he stands out even though the Habs are slight underdogs on the road tonight he only has 5 points in his last 10 games, but has provided a high floor with 42 shots on goal, which is backed up by a 12.9 shots per 60 and 23.7 individual Corsi per 60 on the season. He's getting a ton of opportunity, skating on the second line, and then he jumps up uh, to the top power play unit with Jonathan Druin and Max Domi as well, and he's averaging over 14 scoring chances per 60 and 8 high dan- danger scoring chances per 60, which is very much in the elite area. So I fully expect um, that upside to continue to see him with more more than 5 points in 10 games, probably closer to a point-per-game kind of player. Finally, with defense, uh, starting with Seth Jones at the top, 6,400 on DraftKings, 5,700 on FanDuel. If you're paying up on defense, there are uh, a lot of options I do like, including Morgan Riley and Roman Yossi, but I lean Seth Jones because he's the cheapest of the three. He's also been elite lately with 10 points in his last 10 games with 32 shots and 17 blocks. Good for an average of 4.9 DraftKings, 17.5 FanDuel points per game. Also with that elite matchup against the Devils, uh, road defense that is allowing over four goals per game. Kind of dipping into the mid-range here, Ryan Pulak for the Islanders stands out, 4,500 on DK, 4,000 on FanDuel. Excellent value play uh, for cash games in that low to mid 4K range. He's tallied 7 points in his last 10 games, so he's got an uptick in his upside there. With a nice balance of shots, 20 and blocks, 18. For an average of 3.4 DraftKings, 12.2 FanDuel points per game, which is well above his season average. So he's rolling along nicely right now and has a very nice price tag. Finally, I'll be looking at Nate Schmidt uh, of the Vegas Golden Knights. DK, he's 4,200. FanDuel, he's 3,900. A little bit cheaper, and he provides some nice value for cash games. He has five of his six total points on the season in his last 10 games with 19 shots and 14 blocks for an average of 2.9 DraftKings, 10.1 FanDuel points per game. So that's a nice floor um, trending up as well. He did flash upside last season. I believe he had 36 points for the Golden Knights. And I see that coming back to form here this season as he does skate on the top pairing, second power play, and he's averaging over 22 minutes per game. So that price, um, same as Pulak, I can see those prices definitely starting to come up. 
shortly, so the time to jump on board is now. And you can pair Schmidt and Pulak together in cash games, which gets you to those higher level uh, Leafs or Blue Jacket skaters, which I talked about earlier. So that concludes the Jaeger Bombs DFS NHL shots of the night. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, uh, Roto Pros, and you'll get uh, notifications. Set your account up for notifications. We do probably five to six videos a week um, during the weekdays, and then Sunday mornings we do an NFL show as well. We cover NBA, soccer, pretty much cover all the sports that you're looking at playing DFS. And if you have any questions, make sure to head over to that community chat. And if you're not a Roto Pros member, make sure to get over to rotopros.com, hit the yellow sign up button, get your two week free trial, and we are almost positive that you will stick around for the long hauls. We have a lot to offer. Thanks for watching. Let's go make some lineups. Let's see some green screens tonight. Thanks, everyone. Cheers.